Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Today's date is August 30th, 2022. This is the morning Forex report. It'll be short but quick, and hopefully you'll get something out of it. We'll start with the uh, euro versus U.S. dollar. Um, we, we've seen a little bit more of a uh, movement into this idea that uh, the ECB will hike by 75 basis points. ECB's not was just on the wire saying that a 75 basis point uh, hike is um, certainly within the uh, realm of possibility, at least something for discussion, but not convinced of it just yet. Um, that, uh, so uh, that type of news uh, helped to send the, uh, or thoughts, I guess, helped to send the price above the 200-hour moving average. It's a green line in this chart. Yesterday we tried, we tried, we tried. Each of the moves above the 200-hour moving average failed. This is the PCE data of the U.S., which forced the price up to the upside before uh, Chair Powell's uh, speech at Jackson Hole sent the price back to the downside. Yesterday's low, we uh, held above the lows from last um last week uh, here and here um, that helped to push the price when the price moved back above the 100 that's when we started to trade in between the 100 and 200 move above the 200 hour moving average positive also moving above this line or this area right here near the par 38 level was also uh, somewhat positive but we could only move up to around the 50 level before the market started to come back down we are uh, moving back down toward the 200 hour moving average and the market will be tested as far as what it wants to do does it want to stay above that level and keep this um, uh, move to the upside going or does it want to move back below move into the neutral area between the 100 and potentially move back below the 100 increasing the bearish bias to the uh, downside for this pair on the top side there is more more um room to roam uh, and more proving to do um, if the price can't get above the 38.2 percent retracement of this move to the downside of par 78 eventually and maybe this uh, swing area right through here then uh, the buyers are not really winning we tried it again off the pce data on friday but could not extend above that level let's take a look at the uh, dollar versus yen next and uh, this uh, currency pair was a winner yesterday but uh, we're seeing the price move to the downside today as there's some risk off uh, or risk on sentiment uh, that uh, has uh, helped to push the uh, yen uh, to the upside and the dollar to the downside as well well um uh, the uh, the move uh, back down uh, came uh, or or is uh, pushing back down toward the 38.2 percent retracement i outlined this level yesterday at 137.91 ish type area uh, also, um, uh, within, the, within this area, area through here, uh, comes the high price, uh, that we saw from last week and the highest price at 137, uh, 7709 or 703, uh, and also the rising 100 hour moving average. If the uh, price is going to start to move back to the downside, getting below these levels, it would be required for the, uh, dollar versus yen. Take a look at the. Uh, daily chart the high price that we did see in trading yesterday did move into uh, this re range where we had the high price from high prices from July 138.87 139.38 um, bre uh, uh, as as topside resistance we did move above the um, one the lower one at 138.87 but could not get above the higher one at 139.38 the high price uh, yesterday reached 138.99 let's call it 139 even so a nice round number stalled the rise for the dollar versus yen and helped to help push the price back to the downside in trading today um, but work to do on the downside if, if the sellers are taking more control first level is get below the 137.91 level finally i'll take a look at the sterling versus us dollar just to get us going from a technical perspective here today uh the um that uh, pair also saw a move to the upside here so following the euros track um in that direction but as you can see we've uh, st already started to move back to the downside and fell fallen back below the august 23rd low which was breached yesterday making a new lowest level since the covid uh, march 2020 um price um or you know that's this is the lowest level since march 2020 uh the high price uh, did get closer to the 100 falling 100 hour moving average that was a key target to get to and through on the top side but could not get there 1.1764 is that level and if the price is going to move higher we need to get above the 100 hour moving average right uh, we did get above the 38.2 of last week's move to the, uh, from the high last week to the low that we saw yesterday but uh, even that has given back uh, to the downside here 
and uh, we couldn't sustain any momentum above as we ran into the 100 hour moving average. So um, that's, um, that's a look at some of the major er currency pairs. Now I'm going to just take a look at this first. The Aussie versus US dollar back down, uh, trading between the 100 and 200 hour moving average. Key risk defining level here and bias defining level. If we move below, it's more bearish. If we move above, it's more bullish. So we are seeing some take back of the um, of the gains that we saw earlier today, especially in the risk uh, currencies. And finally, finally, the New Zealand versus US dollar. Um, we moved up to the 200 hour moving average for the third time and found sellers against that moving average here. So again, that's not looking all that great as we head back into this retrace or this uh, swing area. My name is Greg Michalowski. Hope you got something out of this. Out of this, uh, good fortune with your trading. Bye bye.